Well, good morning. It's 20 past four in the morning, yes. and it's very early, and we're actually already, already, already all on the bus because we've got a very long trip, about about 800 kilometres up to Santiago this morning. So, yeah, we're actually leaving Patagonia in the dark, and because yeah, sun sun won't rise for another yeah probably three hours or two and a half hours. So, yeah, we're probably going to sleep the first bit, and yeah, let's see how today goes. As with every every wine wine tour, there's a wine te wine tasting as well. So here's me having oh, this. This is my third third one. Find some really nice wines here. Now I don't normally drink, so I thought I'd better finish um, finish this uh, video diary before I get completely drunk. So cheers. Cheers. I don't think the wines affected me much at all, uh, but yeah, we're still going with the wine tasting at the moment, and it's, yeah, yeah, it's going very, very, very well. Okay, we're, we're, we're done with the wine tasting now, and I think, I think I'm okay, and we're now having lunch. I said we're, we're, um, we're in the process of having lunch so before we get back on the bus and head off down to Santiago. Well it's our, th our third petrol station stop here and you know there's, there's a truck back over there. Um, there's 120 kilometres to go to Santiago uh, it's been four lane highway since just after we left uh, this morning, it's yeah, half past four and it's been four lane highway the whole way and it was now getting quite busy so yeah it's been a pretty, pretty quick trip in apart from our stop at the, 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 um, the, the winery but yeah I think just one more, one more haul to go and we're in, in the city of Santiago so yeah in for a bit of a culture shock. Okay, we've just arrived in Santiago and in the process of checking in, so it's been a very long day, about 14 hours on the road, well, apart, apart from our little stop at the winery, and now we're just checking in and, and then on our rooms, and then I think, yeah, we're going to relax for the night for our final dinner, just, just with pizza and, and, and things, just very, very quiet. And then free day tomorrow. These are probably the creepiest stairs I've ever come across. I'm walking very softly, but my boots obviously amplify the sound a million times. So you can definitely tell when someone's coming up and down. Very intriguing. Okay, let's head into the room. Creepy, creaky floors. Oh, that's the bathroom in there. It's pretty good. And also this mystery room. I wonder if there's a body in here. Nope, looks safe. I think I'll definitely be hearing when people are walking around the building tonight. But given such a long day, yeah, in, in the bus, 
or in the truck as we've called it. And there we are, there's the street out there. It was already getting dark. It's because we're further north, the twilight is getting a lot shorter. So I think we're about 20, uh, 32, maybe 33 degrees south now. So we've really sort of advanced. So I'll, I'll double check that. But yeah, I'm just going to relax before dinner. Okay, back up the scary stairs we go. We've just had our farewell dinner. Um, yeah, for the last three weeks we've we all become the closest of friends and now we're all off in our own different directions. But hopefully we'll see each other at breakfast. In the meantime I'll just be accompanied by these pol poltergeists that lurk in this building. And on that night, 